what comes to mind when you think of the word millennial? Maybe it sends shivers down your spine. It shouldn't. Millennials now make up 40% of the workforce. This large group of workers have life experiences that may make their mentoring needs unique. If you have questions about mentoring millennials, then this is the video for you. I'm Nicole, and welcome to Mentoring Masterminds, where we combine the expert-level insights we've gained as a top-rated mentoring software provider with real-world best practices for mentoring program leaders at top organizations. In this video, we'll walk through what makes the millennial experience unique and how you can properly account for that within mentoring programs. Be sure to like and subscribe so you know when we release new content every week. What is millennial anyway? The word millennial is often misunderstood, even by millennials. By definition, a millennial is anyone born between 1981 and 1996. That means as of this time of recording in 2023, the oldest millennials are turning 42, while the youngest are turning 27. That upper range might be a shocker for you, but it matters. Millennials often walk the line between pre-internet and post-internet age. Some are digital natives, others are not. And importantly, many millennials lived and began entering adulthood and into careers amid fairly life-changing worldwide events, including the dot-com bubble burst of 1999, the 9-11 terrorist attack, the war in Iraq, the housing bubble burst in 2008, the COVID-19 pandemic, and now another looming economic recession. All of this has added up to create a generation that's financially far behind previous generations in terms of wealth generation, career goals, and life achievements. It's made millennials simultaneously hungrier for growth opportunities and wary of companies that aren't helping them as they try to play catch up. Millennials are now at peak promotion age. A Harvard Business Review article titled, Why Do We Wait Too Long to Train Leaders? found that most companies train managers around the age 42, although the average age of managers is around 33. Were you paying attention? The upper age range for millennials is now 42. This means two things. First, many millennials have been recently promoted in the last few years or soon will be. Second, it also means that many of them may lack the training they need to be effective in their management roles and desperately need mentorship. Tip number one, create more effective matches. We're starting off with the best tip first here. You can't effectively engage millennials in mentoring programs unless you pair them the right way first. Mentor matching can be difficult, and manual matching not only introduces implicit and explicit biases, but limits the number of criteria you can feasibly consider when creating matches. Instead, use mentor matching software that allows you to match across any number of criteria you choose, and that removes bias from the matching process. Doing so will ensure your mentors and mentees feel great about the match from the start. That formative connection at the beginning of the mentoring relationship is particularly important to millennials who strongly believe in learning from and engaging in relationships with people they feel that they can trust and be open with. Tip number two, create a visible program structure. Millennials already feel behind in their careers. If they feel the mentoring program isn't providing value, it will only frustrate them and could increase the risk of turnover. Creating more structure in the mentoring program will help ensure your millennial mentees feel their time is being used effectively and that they're getting something valuable from the experience. Visible program structure starts by having a clearly stated goal for the program, established timelines for the cycle, and fully trained mentors who understand how to serve in that capacity. That last point is critical. 
Many well-constructed mentoring programs fail when the mentors aren't properly trained and don't know how to add value to that relationship. Give your mentors the right training across different areas that could impact the mentoring relationship, including how to navigate conversations related to diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. Tip number three, give millennials space for self-discovery. Even as you work to create an effective program structure, don't over-prescribe the mentoring relationship. Mentoring works best when the mentee has a significant amount of control over the directions and outcome. You may have overarching goals for what you want to see at the end of the program, but how a mentee gets there should be up to them. Millennials thrive best when given the freedom of discovery while having a capable mentor who can help guide them in the right direction. How is your organization preparing for millennials in leadership? Let us know in the comments below. The millennial generation is now the largest working cohort and will soon be the largest cohort within management level positions. Mentoring programs are a great way to get them ready for leadership, but only if those programs consider how millennials learn best. Create structure, train your mentors, and then let your millennial mentees forge their own learning pathways. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to visit us at mentorclick.com and follow us on LinkedIn for more mentoring program insights and advice.